Uh, Robert Chesmu, let's play Knight of Three. So you're saying there's a chance, right? The 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 cl classic uh, classic um, Dumb and Dumber scene, of course. Let's play C4. Okay, let's play Knight C3. Um, what do we want to do? D4. Let's just play B3, Bishop B2, I guess. Let's keep it simple and slow. So castles, queen c2. Of course, if e5, I always just take and go knight b5. Although he wants to play this anyway. Okay, now I can play d4. Bishop b5. I kind of like bishop b5. Hit the knight, put pressure on this pawn on e5. e4, I always get the outpost. Okay, so bishop g4. Hmm, okay, let's take. Uh, takes, takes. Rook g1, rook b8, rook g2, rook b7. F4 takes queen f5. F4, d4. Ah, but he's got bishop e4. Whatever, let's go for it anyway. I don't know if it's good, but it looks interesting. Play rook g1, if bishop e4. Or I've got d3 or queen c6. Um, okay, obviously queen c6. Force the trade. Maybe queen c1 and bishop a3 was also possible, but I didn't like it, so rook c1. Of course, now bishop, uh, bishop a3 is a threat. Bishop e5 is a threat. I like my position here. Oh, he's got d4, though. Mm. I missed this one. So I'll take, I'll take, I'll take. And play bishop b2. And let's play f3. Let's play f3 to kick the knight. He's got one, two, three squares. If rook c8, I think I just go king e2. That I did not think was precise. So I thought I had bishop a3, rook c8, and like king e2, king d3. If d3, just king f2, and then rook c1 looks good. Does it anyway? Okay, so knight e6, I thought I had rook c1. I thought this long term with the 2v1 and being able to play e4, king e3, this should be losing for black. But I could be wrong about this end game. we'll see. So obviously he gets like an f4 square, but the argument here is that I've got the 2v1. He also has a big weakness, this pawn on e5, and this big weakness on d3. So there are too many weaknesses here for black. This must be losing. Ah, you want... He wants knight d4? No, but that can't possibly work. Okay, he just gambits a pawn, so he's trying to argue that he can just hold the position here. And the question is, do I want to play h4, or do I just want to play b4? Do I want to provoke the king's side, or do I want to just run? Um, I think I'm going to play h4 here. Okay, place h5. Now, of course, I start to build the build the queen side. Okay, now I think I'm going to try to run this way. Maybe it's not so easy. Okay, let's just go back. I guess I'm willing to give him g5 here. Yes, because I have bishop f6 at the end. So I think that if g4, we trade, and I run this pawn down the board. So he takes, now bishop f6, very important move to stop these, control all the squares here. And now I'm just going to run my king around, and I'm just going to gobble, 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 and gobble. Okay. guess we take. Well, maybe it's actually not. It was, it's not as easy. I thought this was just winning, but it's not. It's very tricky still. It's king f2, knight g5, e5. Need to use both these pawns so that I've got this pawn. Let's go bishop b4. Okay, king g2. If h3, I can just take. Knight f3, e6 uh, is winning. I mean, this is going to be very tricky. Uh... Ah, no, it's not, because I can just protect the pawn. Oh, never mind. I just protect the pawn, so on knight f3, I just collect. This is just over then. 
Game over. Okay, just take. Oh shoot, I gave him 94. Ah, wait, but I bishop b4. Um, still winning though. So he can't he can't touch my bishop, and all his pieces are kind of terrible. All right, a lot of interesting end games that we're playing today. I've noticed. Like we had we've had a couple against um, against uh, Andraken. We had a really interesting one there against Robert Chessmood. Let's play e6, maybe h6, maybe just let's just play classic. Uh, let's go c5. Guess knight d7 is fine. Um, let's take. I think just a6, knight c6 makes sense here. Not even 3k, find a real opponent. <laughs> Good one. <laughs> Good one. Okay, uh, this is a pawn. I also have bishop g4, bishop e4. That doesn't look right. What am I... He wants some quick initiative. Let's not give him his fun. Um, okay, knight e5, knight e5, knight e5, queen e4, knight c6, rook d1, and knight d5 looks dangerous. I can also play knight c5. Hmm, bishop c5, knight e4 doesn't look right. Um... Hmm. Surprisingly tricky. Should see 594. Hmm. Guess I'll just play queen c7 to hit the pawn in e5. Okay, plays rook c1, so I can still take if I want to. What? I don't believe this guy. This guy's bluffing. I don't think he's got the goods here, so I'm just going to take the pawn. I don't believe him. I don't believe him. I think he's bluffing. Okay, knight a4, so I still... I've got queen b5, which is an obvious move. I can also just play bishop e7. Yeah, what is this guy doing? He's full of bluff. Oh, he's got knight c5. Oh, jeez. Should have played rook d8 first, that was so stupid. Um, still probably fine for me, it's just not going to be easy to play now. Um, let's go for this, I don't know if this is good, but I've got to do something here. Let's play rook d7. I'm up a pawn, my king's not good obviously, but he doesn't have a lot of pieces with which to attack, and he doesn't really have many, He doesn't. his pawns are all in the back rank, so... Okay, so I can play queen b5, maybe? Yeah, let's go queen b5. Try to Let's offer some exchanges. He's obviously not going to take. He's got one, two... Okay, but I thought now I could play f6 because he's got no queen b8. If I get king f7, I'm just winning. Just up a pawn and winning. He's got no bishop. Someone says time, time, watch your time. Oh, but rook d1. Ah, I missed rook d1. Let's see... Queen g5 or queen e5? I think queen g5 makes sense. Oh, but then he's got queen b3. If queen b3, I think I have knight d4. I'm gonna go for... Oh, he's just got... Oh, no, he doesn't have rook d4, because I've got queen c1. No, it's just... This makes sense. So rook c8, king f7, queen f... I've got knight e2, I've got b5. Play b5. Uh, thank you, Trister013, for the five-month resub. Thank you. Okay, now I can... I'm just gonna play king f7. Maybe there's something better, but I figure get my king out, rook d8. Good knight, terrible bishop on e3 here.
Idea is to play knight e2 maybe at some point, or just rook d8 first. Now I'm up on the clock too, so things are starting to turn around. Okay. Play rook d8. King h1. Okay, let's go like queen f4. Hit the pawn. Knight f3 maybe is some kind of weird threat coming. Let's just go for it. Why not? I think rook d2. Rook c7, king h6. I don't see it. I cover the checks. If check, king g6. Game over, I think. Just checkmate. Terrible king. Game over. Just resigns. Okay, let's go again. Let's play knight f3. Thank you so much to Negrius for the four, month, four months. Thank you so much. Uh, congrats for your tournament. That was very hard. Tournament was okay. It's not great, but it wasn't terrible either. Okay, so he wants to play for e5. He's trying to be all fancy schmancy and change his move order. Uh, let's just play a classic Moran. Uh, which line? Let's play one of the old lines. Let's play bishop b3. See, see if he remembers how to play. It's just castle. I've got e e4, e5, of course. He'll probably just take, so I'll pre-move e f6. Probably he'll... I assume he'll take, so let's pre-move it. Okay. Now, I think rook b1... So rook b1 or bishop e3. Um, so let's play bishop e3. If c5, I'm obviously just going to take the pawn. Or not. Does he see something I don't? Ah, uh, he just plays rook c8. Okay, let's play knight e5 and let's just keep the, uh, keep the flow going. Have I tried the new puzzle rush? Uh, what does that mean exactly? Play rookie one, put pressure on the file, knight of seven's a threat. Um, I think maybe just queen two, e three, g three makes sense as well. They changed puzzle rush, added new modes. No, I mean, I, I have not really been on chess.com since before the event began, so no, I'm not familiar with it. Let's play queen e three, hit the pawn at a seven, c four, maybe queen g three, support the bishop. Sort of just multi, multi-dimensional move here. We'll pre move a b. Bum, 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 bum. Play c4, hit the bishop. We're going to grab, we're going to get greedy and grab a pawn on a7. Like, am I missing something? I don't see it, so I'm just going to grab it. Queen b7, just f3, I think is fine. Okay. This is surprising. So he wants to play this end game. Kind of surprising. Because I figure with the A pawn, this has to be bad for black. Although, naturally, I immediately make a bad move. Let's play bishop c2. Didn't even see rook b8 there. Okay, let's see. I can play... I think I'll play f4 to support the knight so I can now use my other rook. Maybe I should have played rook ab1. Why did I play rook ab1? Stupid move. Although he takes, so he justifies it when he didn't need to justify it. Just play rook b5, force the rook back. And now I can play a5, I can also play c5, I can also just bring my king in. Uh, c5 looks very interesting. Just think about this. a5, knight e8, c5, or c5? No, c5 gives knight d5, so let's just... Bring the king in. Okay, so he tries to trade. Also a surprising decision. We can go all bobby here and take, but I'm not going to. I'm just going to play g3, put the pawns on dark squares. King e3 is an interesting move here as well. A, king d4. I don't know if king e3 works. But let's play... Uh, no, oh, wait, no, wait. Uh, whatever, let's just do it. I don't know if this works, but I'm going to go for it. Let's take... 
This is very tricky for black. Because if a5, a6 comes, or b6. Okay, we just bring our king in. Okay, let's see. I don't know. I mean, this is very... It's kind of insane to go for this, but... Let's see. I don't have a5. Yeah, this was kind of stupid, apparently. Let's go bishop b3, I guess. Maybe the bishop was better on d1 for this idea, because on d1 it, d1 it covers the e2 square. Um, now do I want more pawns or less pawns? I'm guessing I want less pawns, so let's do this. See, the bishop's on d1, this is completely fine. But with the bishop on c4, I give him all kinds of stupid stuff for no reason. I should have just had the bishop on d1, and I could have played, could have had a much better version. Okay, let's see. Six. Uh, what do I have? I've got. Still tricky. Wait, what is this? Check. What is he doing? He's just bust, bust. He's. Why did he do this? I don't know why he went for this. This is completely, uh, completely winning for Black, and he just bungled this. Rook a2 is just winning for Black. Rook a2, it... I don't understand that at all. I'm getting lucky right now. Let's let's not play a classic game. Let's let's play something else. I that was just bizarre. I didn't understand that at all. I did not understand what he was thinking. Yeah, I kind of turned this into a bad Scandinavian. This is not a good Scandinavian defense. I turned it into a bad Scandinavian defense. But who cares? We're still playing chess. Yeah, Rook A2 is very obvious. I, I don't know why he didn't see it. Just bizarre, honestly. Let's go Bishop B4. Put the pin, pin in play. Because obviously, as we all know, pin to win. Uh, maybe I've got Knight E4 here. Yeah, let's do it. Why not? On a winner's day. Long rook or short rook? I'm castling short, of course. So I see some people are shouting, play the Sicilian defense, play the Sicilian defense, just play the Sicilian defense. Ugh. There are other things to play too. Uh, rook a2, bishop e2. Rook a2, bishop e2, rook e2, a7, king a8 was, was, was good for... For... Um, for 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 uh for black that was just winning okay well it's castle okay so he takes we'll take if bishop g4 just bishop f5 okay i guess rook d8 makes sense always bishop f5 or knight c5 actually uh, did I blunder something here? I did. I blundered a pawn. So let's go knight f6 and go for activity. Well, maybe I've got something more, like... Uh, maybe... I don't know. c5, he's got bishop a5. Actually, then I'm just getting cooked here. Okay, let's go queen f7, then, and hope for a miracle. Not going to happen, undoubtedly, but let's hope. He goes bishop f3, but now I've got like bishop h5 and leaves a brown. Oh, I oh I can't hit. I thought I had queen f2. Whoops. Um, let's go for something weird here. If takes like queen g6, g3, like I don't know, queen f5 or queen g4. I mean, otherwise, if I just take, I just lose. So. No point playing an endgame and wasting time. Okay, let's see what he's got here, though. Queen g4? Oh, queen h5 was better. Um, okay, we'll take. I'm still obviously completely lost, but there, there might be some tricks here. We've got a great bishop. That's a bishop. A bishop, a bishop, a bishop for my kingdom. Probably nothing I can do here, though. Um, 
We have Bishop E4. We just got Rook E1, though. Yeah, thank you, uh, Mojis, for the five months. Thank you so much. Plays F3. Wow. I don't know if I'll just take. Queen D4. I'm obviously completely lost still, but he's he's made this a bit tricky, a bit messier than it had to be. It's still obviously winning, but like... Okay. I mean, is this... If I play H6, what's his idea? Queen E5? Whatever. Oh, but he's got Queen E... Oh, wait, no, I've still got Queen D4. Wait. Uh, still not... Ah, he's got this, yeah. Okay. Yeah. That was just a bad game. But considering the previous game, which I really should have lost, I can live with that. But let's just turn it around, win a couple of games quickly. 3200 is still going to be pretty hard for today, unless I play for a long time, which I'm, I'm probably not going to be playing for too long. Um, switch G4, Knight H4. Play E3, maybe B3. Unless I win like 8 in a row, probably I won't get to 3200 on this stream. Okay, so obviously I can take, I can also take on d4, just take on d4, I guess we'll take with the pawn, play a3, don't want to give knight before, okay, plays like this, wow, okay, let's just take and go knight f3, figure here he's got no knight before, he's got these very ugly double pawns everywhere, like queen d2 and just castle, king b1, king a2 is my idea. Or I can just blunder bishop d6 instead, because that's what I do sometimes. Now, now I'm definitely in some trouble. I guess I'll play g5. Queen d1. This game's probably not going to end well either for me. Although he's got, he's got all kinds of pawn islands everywhere and weaknesses, so maybe I can still hold this. Um, let's just play h4, solidify the structure so that I can take. Maybe b4, b5 is a, a serious idea at some point soon, too. Is it possible that I make mistakes sometimes? I make mistakes all the time. Not just sometimes. Okay, bishop d6 I don't understand at all. What does that... I mean, I don't understand this. I'm going to play b4, idea b5. I guess I'll play a6. I don't really understand bishop d6 at all. It's a weird move. Okay, he's starting to lose the thread here, because now I go queen d2, rook e1, and these pawns are just really, really ugly for black. If I get rook e1, king g2, and he doesn't have a queen f4 idea, he's probably long-term in trouble. So I'll play rook e1. Uh, do I want to trade? No, let's play queen d1. I guess I'll pre-move. Okay, I will definitely now I will take. And now I think just knight d4. But no, let's let's be let's be like classically positionally sound and just play for an endgame here. No need to uh give him fake fake counterplay. Okay, this doesn't really I guess I just take. Again, I don't believe him. I think he's full of rubbish. He's got no he's got nothing. He's just got nothing here. Like, queen d6 is nothing, so I've got queen e8. Takes, I just take. Nah, this is just busted for black. Uh, what is this? I just take and go knight e7? Nah, this is bad. Game over. I'll probably play f4 for the for the cheese ball, hoping that I take and get he can get cool queen g4. Obviously, I'm not going to fall for that. I'll just play queen e2, no f3. Because he basically the only ideas black has are involving stuff like that. Well, maybe it's still not. It's not trivial, I guess. C3, D4. Okay, let's see. Knight F4 is obviously winning, but it's not the winning that I want. C3, D4. No, oh, whatever. Let's just go H5, H6. Or wait, no, that's not going to work. Actually, what am I doing? Maybe it will. I don't know. Let's try it. Uh, 
Um, but obviously, I should play Queen H5 to push H7. Okay, H7, of course. I mean, unless he's got some... Ah, uh, he's got some nonsense here. Okay. Um... Let's go queen f5. Now I can play an end game probably. Let's play an end game. Just now I won the pawn at a4. Um, yeah, let's just take. Okay, now we'll just try to freeze him. And now I go at four, f five. If b three, just f six wins, or f seven, I should say, because it's check. And there's no stalemate, by the way. Okay, now I just check. It's important to note that after king d2, there's no stalemate here because the queen covers a5 and c2. So if he takes, I can just take with the queen. And likewise, queen a5, I just take. And there's no other way to force the draw here. Okay, next game. Um, let's stick to the Karo Khan since it's been working pretty well so far. Let's play Scandinavian again, why not? I'm gonna go with the same thing, Bishop f5, e6. Oh, oh, oh wait, no, I've got Queen a5, oh my gosh. <laughs> Such a like accidental blunder that I don't get punished for that I totally don't deserve to survive. Good b6. I meant to go bishop, I mean, I would have gone bishop g4 if I had been thinking, but I mean, I've somehow, I mean, I got lucky there. Although, lucky, we'll see how lucky I really did get, because there's still d5, still rookie 5. But maybe I've got some knight c5 stuff. Okay, a4, I can play a5. a5, d5 could be annoying. So, let's just put our bishop on d6 and castle, play classic chess. Okay, so he does go d5, so now, I mean, obviously I've got knight c5 to hit the queen and cd5. Or rook d8, I guess I should take first and play rook d8. Let's go rook d8, because obviously if takes, I have bishop h2. Knight d4, I think I've got queen d6, or even queen d3 maybe. I might also have some, some bizarre, like bishop h2... Knight g4, king g3, no, there's nothing there. Queen h5, or... I guess let's just go queen d3. So if takes, I just take and play rook d4, of course. Okay, let's take... Someone says they're preparing stats for smarter chess. Uh, qua? What? I'll pre-move king f7, because he's probably got a take. Okay, so I've got knight g4 check. I, rook h4 doesn't really do much. Um, I could play queen d1. Let's just take. If knight d1, I take with the... Oh. Let's just take... Probably I can't really win this, unfortunately. It's still very dry. Hmm. I guess I'll go rook c8. 
Knight b5, maybe knight e4. Maybe just king e7 or king e6 even. Go king e6, I guess. Because now I have knight e7, I have rook e8, rook e4. I have, yeah, I've got rook e8, knight b5. Or knight e4 first. Um, I guess I'll just take. Okay, let's be careful here. Maybe king f5. G5, G4 is a problem, so let's just play rook B4, hit the pawn. Let's go King H5, I guess. Gotta be careful not to walk to some kind of mate here. But I think this should just be a draw. Even though he's got knight D5 here, I don't see a mate in this position. Um, I mean, knight b3 looks absurd. I don't really want to take a draw. Don't really have a choice. I'll just offer a draw and not waste two more minutes. Okay, let's play knight f3. Let's go g3. Just castle. <laughs> d3. Let's play h3. Before knight h4. Chess is a draw sometimes. Sometimes chess is a big, big draw. Let's go a3. I'll probably play the same thing. b3. Bishop b2. Knight d2. Okay, he goes d4 again. So he keeps trying to force this. Uh... Ah, but this time it makes much more sense here. Because now I have to play e4. He's going to get some e5. Which I don't really love. But then maybe knight f5. It's all a little bit iffy. Um, I don't really want to do this, but I don't really have a choice. Oh, this is really an ugly position for me. I guess I'll play f4 takes and hope that I can do something like takes. Oh, but he can just take and play... Nah, that's not good. I can still play queen f4 and knight d2 probably, and it's only slightly worse. What does that do? Got rook f7. I just rook f3 though. It's still pretty ugly though, even after rook f7, knight e5. It's not a good position. Um, I mean, probably have to just do something like knight e2 and try to survive, like rook f2. I wanted to take, but knight e5 and rook f8 is just gross. Let's go rook f2. Still have knight f3, I guess. It's not a good position. Knight f3, maybe queen e1 even. Okay, so if he's willing to play an end game with me, or. No, actually, let's play b4. Let's try to let's try to chip away at his queen side here, and then create more threats with knight b3 for an end game. Okay, queen e3. So if I take, he wants rook h3 still, or I don't believe you. If you want to take h3, I'll go knight f1. I, I just don't believe him somehow. Okay, plays knight c5. So now I'm kind of out of options. I kind of have to do. Uh, knight, no, wait, no, knight f3 is no good. Queen e1, rook h3. Knight b3 looks absurd. So we just got to for, force queens off the board and just play. Trust that his pawns aren't great, even though he's got a great knight on e5. Maybe I can go knight h5 or knight e2. Okay, so he's trying to go that way. So I'll go this way. So put pressure on this pawn. Okay, let's go this way. And now I'm probably going to try to run my king. Whoa, g5 I did not expect. That kind of surprised me. Go king g3 and maybe h4. Okay, so he's trying to go like rook a6, rook a1, something. I'm going to have to play h4 sooner or later. There really is no time. Let's just go h4. Let's go king g3. Uh, knight f6 does not work. So let's play bishop h3.
the knight f6. I'm going to play g5, of course. Play rook h1. I'm going to go for broke here. Just go for something. Like rook h8, rook h7. Okay, now rook h5, hit the knight. Maybe I've got knight d5 tricks. I'm trying to make this messy. Okay, now though I thought I could play like... Maybe e5? Oh, but he just, he just moves the pawn. Okay, but let's try to trade some knights here. Get the knight to d6, put pressure on this knight. I also activate rook h7 ideas here. Bishop g6 is a threat. This is actually not trivial for black anymore, because now rook h7 is a huge problem. Like, his king's getting... He's going to end up in a... Let's take... What about rook d6? Hmm. Where's my rook f7? Let's go rook f6. If takes, I'm going to get two connected, and these will just rule the day. Um... Uh, do I take or not? Yeah, I think I do take because so I've got rook e7 and rook d6. So now I go rook e7 and rook d6 and rook c7. I staircase his king off and then he just loses. Check, check, check. 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 And now you lose everything. You lose everything, my friend. You lose. Just uh, He loses all the pawns and that's just all she wrote. Game over, you guys. Just game over. End of story. That got bad really fast for him. Really, really fast. That got bad, like, out of nowhere. That was just, like, winning for black, and then five seconds later, it's, like, losing for black. Okay, let's not blunder this time. Let's let's not play bishop f5. That was just a little bit unfortunate for my, my, my uh, Armenian friend. Let's play knight d7 here. Who's the opponent? This is um, Robert Hofenissian, I think. If I'm not mistaken, I think it's Hofenissian. Very, very talented um, Armenian junior player. He's about like 2,600 feet, I think. No slouch at all. Very, very good. This castle. Play bishop g6. Take with the h pawn, obviously. Capture towards the center. Okay, plays knight e5, so I can trade. I can also play like bishop b4. Let's try to exchange some knights here. Let's play a game of exchange the pieces. Thank you, books are nice for the 200 bits. Thank you so much. Thank you for the 200 bitty bitties. Let's take. Um, I can play knight e5, I guess. Probably I should have just taken without taking on c3. I should have provoked him. Okay, so he's gonna go like rook d1. I'm gonna I'm gonna basically see the d file here. Try to put the knight on like f8 or c5. Um, it's not brilliant. Actually, let's go c5 and knight b8, knight c6, because now I at least have an idea to plop it on d4. So I can play b6 here. I think I will play b6. Does he have some trick with takes some queen f3? Maybe, maybe not, whatever. Knight c6. Rook d7, and he just hangs the pawn on e5. Excuse me. Yeah, he can't be happy. The fact that he's singing here means he's annoyed. It's a free pawn there, too. I mean, maybe he can play b3 and try to suffer, just because I, I have double g pawn, so it's not like... Okay, now he's tilting a little bit, I think, because... It's hard for me to believe that he can get away with this. It's just, I mean, he's down two pawns now. I'm getting a pass pawn that's just racing up the board to c1. I think he's on tilt now, because this is not... He's he's better than this. He's definitely better than this. 
I had rookie eight there actually as well, but whatever. Okay, now now what we do is we try to tickle the rooks. We're gonna give him some fake hope. He's gonna play rook c7. I'm gonna tickle him for fake hope. Let's tickle, and now let's go uh, rook e8. I might even tickle him again with rook d8. Okay, so he plays bishop d6. Now I think I can actually play rook d8, right? Takes knight d6, yeah. Because rook f7, I just play knight d6, rook g7, king f8, and I just win. Let's take. Okay, I've got. Maybe I've made this a little bit trickier, though, than it should be. Yeah, I've actually made this a lot trickier than it needed to be. How am I not... Did I just blunder this? Is this not even winning anymore? Let's throw in some tickles. <sighs> this is ridiculous. I just... I got too clever for my own good, and I just threw this away. Unless there's something I'm missing, but... It's getting too clever for my own good. Yeah, I mean, there's just nothing I can do. 98, 98 would actually blunder me. That was just stupid. That was just so stupid of me. No, 98, he's rook cf7 checkmate. If I try to run the pawn, he goes rook h7, rook g7, and it's just it's just a draw. That's that's that was really stupid of me. I should have just won that game. Very very careless. Let's play h3. Let's play g4. 90. We're gonna do the same thing. 95, knight g6. And also, hmm. Let's just take this one. Play e3. Now at least this should be a better version. Well, let's go a3. Maybe just b4, b3. We'll see. He, he wants to do the same d4 nonsense. Okay. Uh, here, though... Okay, let's let's get creative. I don't care. This might be a bad blunder, but if Pal Benko was able to sack some pawns on the queen side, why can't I? I can play b5. No, that's probably too bold. Let's see. Okay, bishop d5, rook h3 is no good. bc5, de3, knight b3. Not clear. b5... I really want to sack my queen, but I don't think I can make it work. Play knight b3. Okay, why am I... Th I'm thinking way too long here. I should just move. Um... Or actually, no, I can take, because he can't... Eh, takes is bad, though. Okay, what are my moves? Bishop b2. No, knight b3. De3. Play knight b3. I'm actually going to run to the restroom, too, so I'll be right back, you guys. Okay, knight c3, let's play queen e1, I guess. I think actually knight c3 is a terrible move. I think knight c3 is a really, really bad move. Oh, just so you guys know, since I see someone makes a funny joke, it doesn't look like anything exciting has happened in that bed in a while. Uh, I, I, I actually booked a room at a, at a different hotel because the internet was so bad. Let's just take. He can't even take, so he loses the night. Okay. Just play f4. Oh, I gave him bishop h4. Uh, I've got queen d2, I guess. If I had more time, I probably would not have played f4 right away, but... It happens. Okay, 
So he plays f6. Um, God, I just that is such a terrible position to have with no time. Okay, so let's just take and play bishop b2. It's gonna go knight a4. I'll play rook b1. I assume he'll play knight a4. Maybe not. Oh my gosh, he didn't even... Ugh. Yeah. Although he actually makes this tricky on himself, because it's not as easy as it should be now. Okay, um, I just have no time this game. Uh, yeah, the bathroom gambit didn't work well. Didn't work at all this game. I mean, I just, yeah, I just I went to the restroom at the wrong time in this game. I would have won this game otherwise, but it happens. Ah, move. Ah, yeah, whatever. Yeah, that was unfortunate. If I hadn't gone to the restroom, I, I would have won that game. But, you know, happens. I'm just going to have to beat him like five in a row. And I will do that now. Because now there's no excuse not to beat him. Let's trade. Play e6. D6. Okay, we'll just castle here. I can play knight a6 here. I can also just take and play h6. Um, what am I doing? I guess maybe just bishop e7. Keep it simple. No, I mean, it's just it's ridiculous because he played, he played a terrible game and he was completely busted. But because I went to the Russian at the wrong time, he... Uh, he, he got a game that he didn't deserve to win, so that's, you know, a bit annoying, but... Uh, what is this, just takes, knight d5? Let's play queen e7. <laughs> um, bishop g5 would be no good, so I just take. Okay, nobody cares, just queen f6 and knight c6. And there's really no reason that white... Why well, should really have anything here? Just knight c6 and rook d8. Okay, just play rook d8. Oh, I just blundered b7. I thought it was protected, and it's not protected. What am I doing? But of course, he plays in the wrong order, so I still get rook b8 and some kind of weird nonsense that maybe I'm still. Okay. Now, if I take c1, so rook a2, if I play rook b2 here. So if I win the a2 pawn, I'm probably, probably better. Okay, of course he plays rook d2, let's play rook b8. Maybe I should take Takes a knight before is actually better than this. Plays h3. Okay, whatever. We're gonna go for the win here because I don't. I, I'm getting tired of giving this guy draws. So even if he's got some knight f6, I'm gonna take and go like king g7, king f8, and we'll see what happens. What is knight c4? That's a weird move. Okay, I mean he gets knight d6, but I get knight d4. Okay, I've got knight d4 here for starters. Or rook a5. Rook a5 actually looks good too. 
Play rook a5. Play knight d4. Mm, got 92 or 96. I think I'll play 96 here. Okay, 8. So he wants knight f5 with mate. I'm obviously not going to give him that. Play h5. Just to create more squares for my king as well. More breathing room, so no rook g8 nonsense. Knight d4. I'll probably take at some point. I don't know quite one, okay. So now he's, now he's going to go into the cheese ball. Let's make a draw mode. Um, let's think about this. Can I play on somehow? It's question number one. Rook h2 doesn't make sense. Knight c7 doesn't really do much. You can always play h4, I guess. Doesn't look good. Let's just take. Play rook a1. I'm going to try to run the a pawn up the board. Obviously not king g6, because then he gets rook g8. Knight d6, interesting choice. Okay, we'll just go back. We'll see. This king g6, because now I have king h7 and a5. This is my whole idea. And now he's going to have to start thinking a little bit. Fortnite is pretty much dead. I heard Tifu say something about Fortnite being pretty much dead. Oh, he's got rook h8. I have to be a little bit careful here, actually. I didn't see rook h8. Um... But does that actually do anything? I mean, that's the question. Does it actually do anything? Like, if I play a5? Rook h6. Oops, rook h6, king g5, king g3, rook g1. Let's make it. Um, I mean, I guess it's just a draw or something silly. Yeah, it's just a... Or wait, I've got to be careful not to get mated here, actually. Um, yeah, it's just a draw. Just a draw, I think. Yeah, I'm just going to make the draw so that I don't walk into some ridiculous checkmate. Because I, I could see myself walking into some kind of stupid checkmate there. Um, okay, let's play D3. How many games in a row do I have to win to get 3,200? Is it like 8 games or something? Is it 8 games more or less? 8 times 5? 8-ish? So let's, let's try to adopt this guy. I'm going to try to just beat him pretty pretty hard now. So let's play B3. No no more C6, no more nonsense. Just just good, good, good chess. Beat him on the board, beat him on the clock. Let's go with D1. I don't care about F5. I can just take it. I can also play C5, I think. Okay, so I'll just takes. So I've got okay. C5. If takes, I take. Again, there's a back rank, rank issue for him. So once again, he's already much worse. What is this? Let's take. That's, first of all, I've got a free pawn, which I'm going to take, obviously. And now he's just down a pawn for nothing. Just actually really nothing here. Like, rook f7. We play rook e1, I think. Or rook c1. Let's play rook e1. Now the question here is if I take on e5, it's two pawns. And also move the knight. Knight b5 is interesting too. I don't really want to move the knight, so I think I'll just play rook e3. Rook e5 was probably good enough to win too, but I don't know. I'm not crazy about it. So bishop f7, so I can al always take. The only issue I have is this pawn on c2, so let's think. Knight d5 doesn't make sense. a4... I don't really love a4 either. Let's play bishop b1. Okay, that's just a bad move. Knight d5, and now it's just completely lost. And if rook f7, just c4. Okay, there we go. Uno, let's go again. That's number one. Let's 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 turn this turn this ship around. 